first we will be uh, going to uh, insertion from uh, the JSP so I'll create a uh, index page here in my web content so I will we'll write <coughs> the code in that to insert a value uh, to the database uh, from the JSP okay so let me create an index.jsp uh, page okay so here we'll write uh, the code uh, for for the thing there is an error here what is this okay so we'll uh, we have to import the servlet in the build path or even library so I'll show I'll add that servlet uh, in servlet jar in the build path so to go to build path libraries add external jars and navigate where you have uh, the servlet jar so I'm going to add uh, the java like servlet 3 dot jar so just add it and just click ok so uh, this should be gone ok now we'll uh, further uh, create a new uh, JSP so I'm uh, creating the JSP as uh, insert values so in the insert values I'm quickly uh, writing a form uh, to insert data uh, to uh, the database ok so I'm just giving a heading here h1 and I'm giving it as insert values as the heading so let it be in the sender tag <coughs> now I'm going to create a form here so it's a simple form actually we'll uh, insert uh, the uh, Insert that insert the three text boxes where we uh, as we plan we'll be taking uh, the username uh, the mobile number and email ID from uh, the user so let me create a uh, three text boxes input type text and uh, the value which says this is the username and we will give it as username and the next one is email not me not email I will keep it as mobile number as second and third one as uh, email okay mobile number okay now just give a breakpoint here the year yeah, yeah okay now we have just created a small form in insert values dot jsp so let's uh, try uh, to run this and see how it is look uh, look to run this uh, just right click on uh, the jsp page where you can see run as uh, run on server okay so once you click it will ask uh, which type of uh, server you have to uh, use so we are going to use apache version 9 so if you don't have apache version 9 installed in pc just google it just google like apache version apache tomcat version 9 download you will get it download it's a free installer uh, you can uh, easily uh, download and install it okay now i'm uh, selecting the version 9 server and just click next and you have to navigate from the browse button we have installed here uh, apache tomcat 9 so in my pc it is in my computer c drive and in program files where you can see apache software foundation tomcat 9 so i have already the just if you if you don't have just install it and now get to the location and just press ok now it will be ok to run just click next and just finish it so it will uh, take some time for the first load of your project just wait for that uh, the project insert uh, the project has been loaded you can see the insert values.jsp with the three text boxes is here now let me copy this and uh, see in chrome how it looks here just press enter here it is username mobile and email okay now we'll uh, move further to do uh, the things in the database side uh, to give the functionality to this form so i'll give a submit button here so if you are submitting this data you should add in the database okay so to do that we'll have to go uh, to the backend section the java resources in uh, we have I, i'm going to create a new package here so the package name is i'm giving it as crud just give it a crud and inside this i'm going to create a new class the class name i am giving it as insert values and uh, space is not allowed okay i have just created a, a class name insert values okay now i am going to write a method here which uh, which can insert a values to the database okay now 
the method name I'm giving it as uh, public uh, void insert values now let me create an object of the connection class first so let it be here or widget db connection okay i have just created an object of our connection class import it now call the connection here connection is from java.sql so connection connection is equal to database connection dot uh, get connection okay so we have just called the connection now we have to write the query to insert uh, data uh, to the database so i'm just giving a uh, string value here string query so as we as we check we have a uh, we have four columns in the table so i'll show you again that use um, jsp underscore crud and uh, okay then we will check the table disk user okay we have four uh, columns in that sl number username email and uh, mobile so we'll uh, write the query for that at uh, insert values in that insert into uh, the table name user and the column name so it's like SL number username uh, email and mobile number okay and we'll give the values as question number here one two three four now what is going to happen is uh, we are uh, we are going to use a prepared statements that's why we are putting it uh, as a question mark and we'll set each uh, values using uh, prepare statement dot set uh, set uh, set string okay for each uh, variables here now let me create a prepare statement object it's like prepare statement is from java dot sql ps is equal to null and uh, yes first we have to take the uh, parameters here to the to the function to the method so we'll pass like uh, uh, sl number uh, username email string email and string password sorry string mobile number okay it's okay if you are passing string or int uh, both will work here now next we have to bind the connection uh, with the prepared statement so it's like ps is equal to connection dot prepare statement and we have to pass the query here in this one okay now uh, this error is unhandled exception we have to make it inside the try hash try cache because uh, there is a chance of uh, throwing exception so make it inside try catch and uh, just print the error here fine now we have to set each uh, uh, values there so it's like ps dot set string or set in whatever it is uh, first one is uh, the sl number just pass the sl number here and uh, second one is the username and the third one is email and the fourth one is mobile okay now p if you are uh, the function for execute in the query is ps uh, uh, dot execute update okay execute update okay now with this uh, codes what is have going to happen is uh, it will run this query with inserting all these parameters to these values here and the values will be inserted into uh, the database okay now going back to the insert values dot jsp there we had to set uh, some values there because uh, first one we had to set uh, one add one more uh, column here i mean one more text box here it is uh, i am putting it as sl number we are passing that SL number from the front end itself or you can do one more thing you can set it as auto increment in uh, the database I'm not going to do that I'm just setting it as SL number from the uh, front end itself from the JSP itself 
so we are going to give uh, the value the name for i mean we have to give the name for each text box to get uh, to identify for the uh, form which all data is uh, belongs to which all way so always use uh, the variable name which uh, we are using uh, as the column name which will be convenient for us uh, everywhere so the cell number i am putting it as a cell number here and the name for this one is the username and the name for the mobile i'm just putting it as uh, mobile and uh, email id i'm putting the name as email id now next we have to uh, in give a input submit button so it's like input type submit value is insert okay okay now let's uh, refresh our server again and uh, go back to your uh, uh, the front end insert values dot jsp there will be a small change there we have inserted one more uh, text field there it's a uh, insert uh, sl number okay the sl number and m and insert button has come here now if i'm just pressing this one nothing will happen because uh, we have not given the form action okay now we have set uh, the front end now we have to set a controller now to take the values from the uh, insert values dot jsp and pass it to uh, the uh, model model class means uh, the backend java class and uh, insert there and come back to the front end page okay now for that i'm just going to create a new folder here the folder i'm uh, putting it as controller and inside that i'm going to create a new jsp file uh, the file name is uh, i'm putting it as insert controller now in the insert controller what is going to happen is uh, we'll pass these uh, variables uh, to uh, the form action is we are will put it as uh, uh, insert controller so all the input values will be submitted to input controller okay now first thing what we have to do is we have to receive all the uh, variables one by one okay now for that just open the tag here java tags so just create a uh, for uh for string values first one is for sl number and uh, second one is for email id email id and the third for mobile number and one for username okay so once it is submitted from this form to use insert controller uh, the we have to use uh, request dot get parameter with the parameter name to receive that uh, variable so it's like request dot get parameter we have to give the name of the uh, variable so it's like uh, the name will be sl number just copy it come back to here now same thing let me copy to all and we'll update the parameter name here so email will be uh, this one email we have not updated email will be uh, the name will be this one so it's email and for the mobile the name is mobile name is mobile and the username the name is username okay okay so we have just received that all sl number uh, email mobile and username okay now let's just print it just to see what is output so to print on the jsp page itself we have to use uh, out.println okay now let me take the sl number from here now copy paste all email id mobile and username okay now in the insert values in the form just pass there to controller slash the form action will be to the insert controller slash insert controller dot uh, insert controller dot jsp okay so we are all set to test uh, the insert values form let's try it uh, testing from the front end now
now let me go back to the front end and let's just let me refresh the page again now give the sl number as one the username as uh, jinu jawar and the mobile number i'm giving it as one two three four five six email id is uh, jinu at the rate gmail.com okay now just click insert and let's see yes all the values has been received from the form and i'm just printing it outside in the in the insert controller here it is okay now i can call uh, this insert value from the uh, model class and call the function or method uh, call the method insert value and pass all the values to the uh, database okay to the method i can pass now in the insert controller let me create an object of insert values uh, class now let me remove this and uh, just import it from there just press control space to import now object values dot insert values values is an sl number email id username and uh, the password okay so we are all set i guess yes it will be working now and now just printing it as out dot printer finished okay fine now let's uh, go back to the page again let me refresh completely now i am putting same value again mobile number is one two three four five six email is gmail three gmail dot okay now just click insert and the insert process will uh, will be finished uh, the message is come finished now go to the console it's okay now everything is done i guess now let's uh, go back to uh, the database and let's see the table so let's start from user here it is the tab uh, the data has been inserted to the uh, database now let me try one more uh, value here just to check the cell number i'm giving it as 2 the username i'm giving it as user 2 and the mobile number i'm giving it as uh, 654321 email id user2 at the rate gmail.com okay now just insert it again and now let's check the database here select star from user here it is the value has been inserted to uh, the database now what we have just uh, shown is we are just passing uh, the input values to the controller and it's uh, stopping in the controller itself now if we want to return back to the insert a uh, page again we can use a script called uh, a small javascript here and the code for that is window dot location dot href and we can give uh, the path as the same path okay insert values path fine let's try it now now the user 3 and user 3 i am putting it as user 3 six 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 email id is user 3 at the rate gmail dot com if I'm inserting this, it should return back to the uh, insert values page and the value should have inserted. Here it is, the value has been inserted. Okay, now we have tested the insert uh, process, which means the create process uh, in the CRUD project from the JSP itself. So we'll move further on our read, update, and delete operations. Okay.